Good morning, folks. Here is your first look at NASA's latest satellite, part of the Landsat Data Continuity Mission, aka Eyes on Earth. Set to launch out of Vandenberg here on February 11th. And speaking of seeing Earth from above, Australia burns. The heat is so bad they're changing the data scale. The fire danger so high, burn bans are in effect. NASA's Earth Observatory caught these images and I've linked the article for you below. USS Jacksonville, watch where you're going. Ran into a fishing vessel this morning, but allegedly all is well. Had a mid-sized tremor near Antarctica yesterday. This morning, a moderate shaking rattled New Zealand. Top quake of the day caused no damage, no injuries, and will never be marked as significant by the USGS. But if you've been watching closely, you know this area barely gets four pointers, let alone fives, and the swarm is continuing this morning. Back to Australia, and if you aren't in a fire zone, maybe you've got a class three cyclone bearing down on you. Be safe out west, mates, and get a weather share in if you can. The big blue blob of winter storm Gandalf, spinning counterclockwise, so pulling up warm southern air ahead and cold northern air down behind as it all rushes into the center. Expect snowstorms west and central, rain on the leading edge that will make it east up to Canada. Europe has multiple converging pressure systems making sweeping forecasts pale compared to checking your local data, but here's the recent rainfall in expected precipitation areas. Having a look at the Bartol cosmic ray chart, we are steady as she goes on the cosmic ray density line, right between 100 and 101. Now as you watch a filament rip away from the backside of the sun behind the eastern limb, know that the backside has been very active and now the earth facing disk has broken the silence. We had a C8 flare yesterday afternoon and this morning we already saw an M flare. If you are curious about the other sunspot groups, see yesterday's video. This is the showstopper. Just look how she moves. All focus is right here. We've seen nothing but decaying sunspots for a while and while this does count as decay, it is almost more of a shift. The leading spot has become a phalanx all its own but with that powerful trailing spot still connected. The dark cores are called umbras. The areas surrounding the umbras are penumbras and beyond the size of the sunspot, the more magnetic mixing within the penumbral and umbral regions, the more complex the active region is as a whole. This is Beta Gamma Delta and I'll be shocked if she can find to just one pop. I'm leaving you with different AIA wavelengths of this active region. We have a new moon today. Mercury conjoins the sun in about one week. Er comp de zona. Here comes the sun. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.